We're here at Iowa Speedway, race number 9. Ben Crouch starts on pole for tonight's race alongside Riley Houston. Here's the full qualifying results. Now I'll take you to trackside. So, after a wild Kentucky race, we now return to the short tracks. And that's about it. Now we do have one road course way into the playoffs. Speaking of playoffs, the uh... We'll talk about that later. About to get the race command. Any moment now. And here it is. Gentlemen! And one fine lady! Start your engines! Alright, the engines are fired up. Here we go. So, the new point seater is, well, Rain Dancer after getting her second win. Oscan has moved up a spot. Snow Chaser has lost two. Ricky Logan has gained two. Stephen Oaks remains in fifth place. Tony Green is up three spots. Nathan Norman down three spots. Riley Houston Jr. stays in eighth place. Carlos Rodriguez goes up two, as well as Dick Wall Jr. Jacob Qual up three, and Riley Houston, who holds the last playoff spot, or the chase spot, drops down five spots. With a one point gap, it looks like. No, two points. Wait. Yes, two points. Alright, pace car is already in. Here we go. Getting ready for the green. Green flag is out, and we're underway here at the Iowa Speedway. Side by side, two by two. Going down. And a three and four. A little bit of three wide, trying to make it three wide. And 35 car leads lap number one. Chevys have been really dominant. Well, they pretty much take up like three quarters of the field, so. Oh, the 12 car almost gets turned by the 71. You know what happens if they, if he goes fully around, he goes straight into the inside wall. Three wide for second place. A little bit of contact, Ricky Logan. Ride, Riley Houston, and upside down he goes. More cars crashing from behind. Big pile up. Or, not really. Caution is out. Take a look at the replay. So an aggressive battle for a second here. Ricky Logan actually didn't go f well. Yeah, he didn't go fully over. It looks like forces the 58 up the racetrack. Turn ends up flipping himself and his back bumper hitting the wall saved him from going fully over. That probably would have gone for a small tumble and he gets nailed on the passenger side by the O2 car of Matthew Logan and the Anthony Logan. Uh, Tried to push him out. Yeah, so three three of the Logans got involved in this one. He was, gonna, was able to drive away, but did quite a bit of damage. Now I thought they were stacking up. I thought was, they were crashing from behind. Everyone checking up. Yeah, 50 just getting squashed into the wall. Yeah, he probably got more damage than, uh, than Ricky Logan. Yeah, and then he gets hit by the 07 and the 7. So first caution of the night, we'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, here we go. All 33 cars still remain on the racetrack. Base car is in, here we go. Almost at the stage. Green flag is out and what a start. 60 hour didn't really get going. The 10 car, looking inside, highest running Pontiac out of the 3, or 4, 10, the double zero, the 07. I think there's another one. Somewhere. Or is that all we have? Got 3 wide over here. Plenty of room. But that wild call is almost about to clip the 66 big lag. 
Big, big lag. Okay, no, we only have three uh, Pontiacs. Okay. 35 cars still leading this one. Side by side for third place. Between a 12 and a 60. Got a nice comfy, uh, comfortable lead. Should be able to take the stage easily. Easily. Uh, so here we go. It's always waiting on the last car. Here a car on a wall. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, hang on. We're not at the halfway point yet. Got to cross the line one more time. That looks like it'll be the 35 car. Alright, coming to the line. Ben Crouch and the 35 car will win the stage. Carter Joey, second. Chapman, third. Qual, fourth. Houston Jr., fifth. 71 car, sixth. Green, seventh. Nanko, eighth. Uh, the 01 ninth and the one car gets the final point. Okay, we can take a look at the replay. There are three wide again, off of four again. 51 to 60 and a double zero. Yeah, he was right in David Davis and right in between. Both of them spin off his nose. The 70 car side swipe, gone into the two. Ends up going for a spin. And then you see the 89 car and oh. Damn it, fucking camera. Clay Rodriguez got launched in the air. Could make a dirty joke right here, but I don't know what to say. All three cars going up in the air like that, and now he, he it's a. Uh, no, I'm not trying to make a dirty joke now, but okay. Well, Rodriguez, his car is destroyed. The 01, the 07, the 72, the 02, and then the 89. A lot of damage there. Front and back. Okay, that, no, never mind. We're out on board here with the 89 car. Then what happened to the uh, 7 car? Oh, we just tagged the 89 and the 02. And both, and both crashes. Yeah, this was a lot bigger. This was the big one. A lot of big crashes recently. But uh, yeah, that's our second yellow of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. 25 cars remain on the racetrack. 10 to go when they take it. Green flags out, we're back underway. 35 has been pretty dominant. Looking to get max points. Oh, he's already led the most laps as we've now passed the halfway point. Pretty much impossible for anyone else to take it. Join the clean air here. Ten car getting a run, trying to get a run. Staying with him. Looks to the inside. Still committed to the bottom. Not going to tuck him behind. Twelve cars going to follow him. He's going to take it three. Yes, he is. Trying to pinch the 10 car. Back to side by side. 12 is still in the bottom, trying to make a 3. Side by side here, still. Carter Joey has the lead. Not official until he leads a lap. And Joey will lead this one. First lead change of the race. Ben is hanging strong on the outside. Doing the best he can, but just can't do it. Just not enough. Here goes Chapman on the inside. Through the middle. 
Now Chapman takes the lead. 60 car also behind Jacob Qual to 71. Gonna make it three wide. Maybe for second. No. Big run. Contact. And Joey's on the wall. On top of the wall. Yellow is out. And it looks like we're gonna go into overtime. The leader beat the yellow, so they'll race it back one more. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, green white checker finish. I'll take a look at the replay. Things got a little too close for comfort there. These three get together. Ten gets squashed. Hunt goes on top of the wall. Thirty-five gets uh, Tony Green gets into him. Yeah, uh, that already destroyed the race car. But there's more. Who else got involved? No, it looks like it's the 05 and the 16 and the 4. That's a heartbreak right there. Sat on pole, led the, led the most laps, got the stage, and now he's wrecked out. 05 and his season's just been horrible. An average finish of 26.88 for the 05. They only dodge out there. 60's out. Running up front all, all night long as well as a 10. Well, not out of the race, but out of contention most likely. So uh, we'll uh, see how they line up. Take you to overtime. So this is how they're going to line up. Going to be 21 cars restarting. Yeah, for those guys, that's uh, their official results. Okay, you guys know the rules. Well, I'll take you to overtime. Alright, here we go. One and only attempt. Eddie green, white, checkered, finish. See how crazy this is going to get. As the pace car pulls off. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Good restart for the 7-1. 12's got the inside line though. Side by side. All the way through. Alright, here we go. White flag. One more lap to go. Riley Houston Jr. trying to make it three wide if he can. 71 slips up out of the groove. They're three wide for third now. Houston Jr. on the bottom. It's going to be a close one. Checkered flag is out at the line. Riley Houston Jr. picks up win number two. And it comes here at Iowa Speedway. Oh, that's two races in a row that a driver's got their second win. And, wow, that was really clean at the end. I did not expect that. I didn't set it up like that, but, uh, yeah, they all made it back. Not even a scrape to the wall or anything like that. They made contact with each other, but that's about it. And Houston Jr. steals the win away. They get win number two. We'll take a look at their full race results. So, there you have it. Riley right Houston Jr. leading one in one lap only. Thanks to the green and white checkered finish, wins the race. Chapman comes home in second. The old one third, the one car fourth, the 71 fifth, Kyle sixth, Nanko seven, Ozken eighth, Ace Vudu ninth, and Snow Chaser gets tenth. You can already see the rest of the race results, and that is it. And our next race will be at the Hickory Speedway. It uh, should be interesting, hopefully, but uh, we'll now take you to uh, Victory Lane.